Um, my amendment stops the underlying bill from making it more difficult for small business owners to provide health care to their employees. Instead, it offers meaningful help to these entrepreneurs and their workers, and I'd hope that all members of this committee can support it. As a former businesswoman, I know firsthand that when small businesses and startups get the tools and the opportunity to succeed, uh, that America's economy is stronger. In my home state of Washington, there are over half a million small businesses. They comprise 98% of all businesses and employ nearly 1.3 million workers, more than half of the state's private sector workforce. From the businesses I've met with, I've heard repeatedly how important health care coverage is to recruiting and to retaining employees. Whether it's Brambleberry in Bellingham or Frost Donuts in Mill Creek, they all want to provide quality coverage, but often find it's too expensive, too complicated, or there are too few options that are available. These business owners just want a little help, and the Affordable Care Act took an important step towards addressing these problems. It created a tax credit to help small businesses afford the cost of health coverage for workers and their families. Unfortunately, the small business tax credit isn't working as well as it was intended. Too many businesses aren't either eligible for the credit or are discouraged by the complexity of its requirements. But that doesn't mean we should pull out the rug from under those business owners. Um, and currently, this bill does that. Um, the bill eliminates vital financial assistance to thousands of small employers who might otherwise invest in health coverage for their workers. And that's it's short-sighted. Instead of repeal, we should work together across the aisle to make the tax credit work better for the American people. And here's what our constituents, that's what our constituents set us all here to do. They sent us here to be good stewards of policy, make adjustments to laws when necessary to ensure that they work in the real world. And helping small businesses shouldn't be a partisan issue. To help small businesses compete and grow, my amendment would retain the small business health insurance tax credit in current law, make the credit more accessible to employers across the country, and simplify the process for businesses trying to claim it. I'm grateful to have been able to partner with Congressman Kind on this effort, which is supported by a wide variety of national organizations, including the National Association of Health Underwriters, the National Association of Insurance and Financial Advisors, and the National Retail F Federation, as well as the Main Street Alliance, who wrote a letter in favor of this amendment um, that I would like unanimous consent to submit for the record. Without objection. Thank you. Instead of repealing America's health care, we should be taking up common sense fixes to make the law work better, and that's precisely what this amendment will do. We all agree that helping small businesses is an important way to grow our economy, so I encourage all of my colleagues to vote yes, and I yield back. Gentlelady 